like a fucking celebrity in this town. <laughs> See that? Everyone rushes at me like crazed fans. They still haven't figured out that I don't give autographs. Ask to ask us again. The Ara Magijok Obrit Os Ejo Mahorena Verifi Obritsuri Donas Dungama of Horstus Tanks. I'm not much for the talkative types. How about we have a little fun instead? You did plan on having fun with me, right? There'll be plenty of time for pillow talk afterwards. Real quick, I want to take the claws off. It really doesn't matter too much because the majority of the time you're doing these fights, you're using Madam Butterfly to fight for you anyway. But, I don't know, it just feels a little bit better to uh, to do that. We still have two of those, two blood shots. Yeah, I think we'll be alright. Um, the other bit of, you know, trivia on this was um, the fact that that language that a lot of the angels are speaking is actually angelic language. It's called Anakian. Now, it's named after some dude who like studied that shit but it's a real language basically and Bayonetta uses uh, she speaks in the same language when doing her demonic summons as well so that pretty much is about it really as far as like a lot of Bayonetta trivia is just the the character origin and then Anakin and that's about it I feel like the whole inclusion of Nintendo should be fairly common sense as far as why Bayonetta 2 exists, the fact that Nintendo saved Bayonetta, like, I feel like that's just kind of well known at this point. But in case it wasn't, then yeah, the reason Nintendo has Bayonetta is because there almost would not be Bayonetta 2 otherwise. Can I just... How do I proceed to the next part? Do I gotta destroy his fingers? There you go. That's what I wanted. Now we could just do this. A lot faster that way. Uh, then we gotta go this way. Take care of that. A lot of this is, again, more dissecting the ang angels. Eagles. Bit by bit. So in this case, it would be taking care of his little dudes. And slowly disassembling them piece by piece. Now, I could have chose to wear a costume for this fight, but considering it's just a boss fight, I felt it was inappropriate, so, you know, I feel like boss fight's not exactly best for showing off the costume, so we're gonna save that other, the last Nintendo costume for the next level, because I really feel like that's probably the best amount of attention it's gonna get is in that level because honestly that one has the least amount of fan service and it just feels like a better idea than putting it into this boss fight where you know it just doesn't work and on top of that Bayonetta is doing a whole bunch of climax moves a whole bunch of times as well so it works better when she does her demonic bits jump woman jump jump I did it wrong. There you go. I can live with that. That's fine. Very glad I caught that. Uh, jump. No. Jump. Thank you. Jump. Also, I definitely prefer this boss fight over the first one. Mostly just because not dealing with lava, you're on a floating platform, is just kind of better that way, I feel. Like, I wouldn't have minded it so much if the platforms that you fought on were just like this in the first fight. It's just the fact that they aren't is why I don't prefer it as much, really.
And I'm sure you have enough of a functioning brain to realize this was the dude that uh, was hanging around that Gene was talking to. Jean. I don't know why I keep doing that. I keep doing that and it's bugging me because normally when I see that name written, I don't think Gene. I think Jean. So the idea that I'm not doing that is like really weird to me and I don't know why I keep saying it. It's tripping me out. Like I feel like I don't really... Gene. Gene Simmons. G-E-N-E. You know, it, it's like Jacques. It's one of those names that you just have to say that way, I guess. I was, I was doing stuff I don't think I finished. I mean, if I did finish, that's cool, but it didn't look like I was finished. I get that one looks finished. It's weird because that neck stretch looks so like cartoonish and comedic, but then when he's looking down at you like this, it looks natural and real. It's a really strange thing. Go ahead, bop him in the head. Brog! He says. He's not too happy with us and we're not exactly doing the best job with this, but. Yeah. I'm not necessarily bothered. I'm enjoying myself, I think. That's just it. I just think we're taking too much damage. That's really about it. Come back here. We're killing him fast enough, I would say. Uh, excuse me, I was there? didn't make any time for pillow talk. So I did everything okay, except for the damage part, which I admitted. I also feel like the uh, the cutscenes in that fight were so much better than the first one, where, like, you know, she catches the fucking vehicle without even, like, thinking, and then she, you know, the, it falls over on him, and the fire trail where she stomps her heel, like, it all looks and 
I feel like is just so cool. And then she turns around and shoots. Oh, I love it so much. Way, way better. You know, walking through a fucking whirlwind, cars, no flinch, total, complete badass. I love it so much, and I feel like that's just really good, strong cutscenes. Gushing about the game over simple things, but I just feel like it really fits the, the character and the theme and establishes that kind of stuff really well. That was terrible. There you go. Still terrible. Alright, well I got it, so I'm not complaining. There you go. This is my chance to redeem myself. I missed. 40 I can live with. Goodbye for- uh... Yeah, we got enough for the other technique. Take care of my babies, will you? Some people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me, these are the real works of art. Now here's the part where I'm unsure what to do with myself. Since we got basically all the techniques we want, the other only other thing that we um, would possibly get would be the crow, because it's admittedly pretty helpful like it's it's not bad at all it it's a nice thing and you know can be useful it's just it comes down to basically either a choice between the crow or I can go ahead and go for some of these ele um yeah Auburn elegances another thing I've considered is which one is it I think it's the butterfly which um yeah taking damage for me which is you know good for my stuff and then the rosary which I've also considered you know I like those two are a tie but the thing is it doesn't matter I can even if I buy both I can still only equip two that's kind of the trade-off with this is you can't keep stacking and stacking you basically have to pick two items accessories that you can use and that would be it so I'm not sure if I should go for the rosary the butterfly the crow or some of these elegances. I feel like I kind of want to just do the elegances just to show off the extra costume since that's been the uh, unintentional theme we've been doing as well as the fact that they're actually decently cheap. Like I don't know what it was but maybe like I bought the wrong things or something. I know for a fact my first time playthrough I bought every single technique period. So I know here that's, that's 40 uh, 60, 60 plus 30, 90, and I think that's like another 20 as well, 20 or 30, so that's like a, a million right there. Or a hundred, which that right there is enough for one accessory. And I think I might have gotten one of these as well, which also might have took a bunch of my halos, but I don't know what it was. But something took a bunch of my stuff, and I didn't really feel like I had the ability to buy as much as I can as to where this playthrough, I feel like I've got enough that I need. We're at a point where we're basically like, close to halfway through the game so that's also why I'm considering what else I want to put my halos towards because now we've got options that I could use so that's just a thing that I'm thinking about as we go through yeah. 